PDF viewing applications. Some are free, some are paid, some shove free trials in your face, while others just look ugly. But it turns out that PDF viewers are just a mere subcategory of the vast and wide world of cool and useful applications. A chunk of the iceberg if you like. So sorting the hidden gems from the trash can be a challenge. So in this video, I'll do just that by showing you 10 of the best free PDF viewers that you can download and start using right now. So with that, let's begin. Oh, actually, before we begin, I'll be using and focusing on Windows for this video. And while I will try to keep things brief for the sake of time, I'll also try and mention compatibility with other operating systems as I go and whether installable apps are open source or not. All right, let's carry on. Number one, first up is Exodo. This application has one of the better interfaces, I would say, being pretty modern and clean and just gets the overall basics right. Some of the key features being the easy to use homepage of the application where you can see your recent files and folders and even pin them for quick access and actually good dark mode which even darkens the PDF content itself and it's very comprehensive annotation abilities with the wide range of tools available. I mean we really are only scratching the surface of what this application can do with other smaller quality of life features becoming more noticeable as you use the application more and more. This application is definitely one that you'll want to check out. In regards to compatibility they do offer PDF tools via the website but also specific downloadable versions for Windows which is what I've been using, Mac OS and Linux. Number two, next we have the PDF key application. Now this application was recommended quite a bit online and offers a whole range of features, amazing modern UI and is completely free, at least for now according to the website, while supporting a range of platforms it seems. Anyway, after launching and using the application for a bit, there's a few features that you should know about. This includes various annotation features, viewing options, conversion options, optical character recognition and a whole lot more, all within a clean modern interface. I'm particularly a fan of the ribbon at the top of the application and the way that it's implemented, though I would keep an eye out in the future as advanced features could become paid, but for now everything's free. Number three, the Oakloar document reader. All right, so following on from this, we have the Oakloar application. I think that's how you say it. Again, another great app being completely free and open source, which is great to see. Though you will have noticed me refer to this tool as an app rather than anything PDF related. And that's because this application is an all-in-one universal document viewer that offers various other features, such as a nice shadow that is present on all thumbnails to let you know where you are, even if you are zoomed in, various viewing modes, toolbar and keyboard customization, annotation features, a relatively smooth UI, as well as a whole load of other features that would make this video pretty long. So yeah, it might not allow you to heavily edit your PDF or have as modern of a UI as out of the previous two applications, but it's still a great application for anything PDF related. Number four, Sumatra PDF. Now, I have discussed this as part of a previous Windows apps video, if you want to check that out up in the cards above. But overall, this application is a free and open source PDF viewer. It's super lightweight and easy to use. And just as a basics right, without adding a whole load of complicated controls and features that someone wouldn't need if they're just looking for a centralized PDF app, an application that stores your history of recently opened PDFs, as well as some basic annotation features. Yeah, sure, it doesn't have the nicest looking UI or the most features, but it's probably the lightest application on this list that just does the job well. Though, I do have to mention that this one is sadly Windows only. Number five, Indigo PDF. Next up, we have the Indigo PDF application. This application is available for Windows, Mac OS, and is also available on the Play Store as well if you like. Though this software does have a paid version, the free version is surprisingly capable. You get many of the features that you'd get in other applications, as well as the ability to perform some pretty extensive conversions, apply various security features, as well as making use of the miscellaneous and advanced options. I didn't manage to test all the functions on offer, but some are pretty niche, so I'm sure there'll be a couple in here that might be used to someone out there. Not to mention the flexibility of having this application run on both Windows and Mac OS as a downloadable piece of software, and with a pretty straightforward UI, it's not too bad I don't think. Alright, so considering we're in the middle of this video, I just want to quickly mention a particular browser that has a relatively decent PDF viewer as a bonus one to consider, and that's, brace yourself, the Microsoft Edge browser. Now, I'm not saying anything in regards to Edge as a browser in this video, or that you should switch to it, but as a PDF viewer, it is one of the better built-in browser-based solutions. Some of the key features being the extensive annotation features compared to that of other browsers, the ability to have different viewing modes, quick rotation, translation, speaking aloud, asking AI what your PDF is about through the use of Copilot that is built in and likely a few others are missing. So yeah, I mean if you want to give it a shot then you can just select PDFs to open with Edge. This way you can keep using the browser that you're currently using all while keeping your PDF viewing experience independent. The choice is yours I guess. Anyway, moving on. Number 6, Inkscape. Now I will admit that this is definitely more of an all-in-one graphics tool rather than being just a dedicated PDF viewer. But if you're someone who wants to perform some heavy edits on your PDF, especially in regards to the actual images or shapes, then this app is for you. Many of the 
controls are similar to that of something you'd find in Illustrator or Photoshop for example, as it's a vector graphics program, but is instead free and open source. It does have a learning curve and might not be for everyone, but it's open source with various functionality that could be useful for editing PDFs, from image manipulation to touch-ups. You can choose to export the file to PDF or keep it in SVG, which is a native format that Inkscape supports. Number 7. PDF Sam Okay, so I will say that this application does sound a little bit strange, being almost named after someone, but I think some of the features that it offers might be beneficial to many out there. So to start with, it's free and open source, and is available on every platform, including Linux. There are paid versions of the app you can install, but these are clearly listed and separate application files. Anyway, the core strength of this application lies in its ability to merge, split, mix, rotate, extract, and insert pages into any PDF. Overall, definitely an interesting one, and considering it's open source and available on so many platforms, it's definitely a win there. Number 8. PDF24 Tools Though, if you want something a little more robust in regards to its feature set, editing capabilities, and being completely free, then I'd suggest taking a look at the tools.pdf24.org website. Yeah, you might be thinking at this point that this is a website, not an app, but if you dig a little deeper on this website, you'll find a downloadable application version that you can install on your computer. Though a little older in regards to the interface, it still is very easy to use, with features like optical character recognition, watermarks, and even being able to do PDF comparisons between two different files. Not to mention that this tool is available across all platforms, as although it does have an installable Windows application, it has an identical experience when used via the web. And while we're on the topic of websites, I'll be bunching a whole load of web-based PDF applications together at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around to check those out. Number 9. Well, we have two apps in here. Alright, so if you want something that looks and feels similar to that of Microsoft Office, then I would consider checking out this PDF reader. Now, this app has a paid and free version, but from what I can see online, previously you used to be a lot more forgiving in the free version, but now many of the features are only available in the paid version. Overall, the interface, like I mentioned previously, is similar to that of Microsoft Office, and in regards to the actual PDF side of things, it still holds up decently well. It has the usual editing features you'd expect, but I'd definitely say it's more on the annotation side of things, as it doesn't seem to be a way to split, merge, and edit pages of a PDF as a whole, so there is that to consider. Oh, and just before we close off with some PDF editing websites, I'd like to also mention the PDF Exchange Editor, which is even more of a Microsoft Office styled application, and offers too many controls and features for me to go over in this video, but yeah, feel free to check it out. They have a comparison between the free and paid versions on their website, but for me, the interface just looks too dated for my taste, but for others, there might be a couple of features in this long list that you might actually use. Anyway, let's carry on. Number 10. And finally, I'd just like to mention some specific websites for editing PDFs, as there's quite a few of them, and while many of them are pretty similar, I thought it'd be good to have them all in one place in the video, so if one doesn't float your boat, you can always choose another. First is ilovepdf.com. This website has a plethora of tools online, allowing you to upload your PDF and manipulate it as you please, whether this be compressing PDFs, converting PDFs to other formats, or even comparing two PDFs side by side. This website has got you covered. Next, we have sedger.com. This website is certainly another popular one due to its interface being simple and easy to use, with all the tools on one page and separated into logical sections. Some of the key tools include the ability to delete certain pages, extract certain pages, as well as being able to split the PDF over certain page ranges. And finally, I'll mention the smallpdf.com website. Again, this website also provides you with a range of PDF annotation tools, but I'd say the key advantage it has is its clean modern interface, especially with the color-coded nature to help you find what you're looking for super easily. I mean, it even offers more advanced features, such as that of making your PDF uneditable by merging all the layers into a single image if you like. The website does have an installable application that you can download, but this is split into a paid and free version, with the free version being highly limited, so I'd stick with the website personally. So PDF tools, like I said at the start of the video, are like small subsections of the larger Windows application landscape, so be sure to check out this video, which goes into another 10 incredibly useful applications that you need to know about, or check out this video on some incredible websites if you're still hanging around. Trust me, you don't want to miss them. Anyway, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.